The first software update of iOS 14 has just been released by Apple and it packs five bug fixes. In this video, I'll show you how to update, how long does it take to update, and we'll go through all the five bug fixes. First, I'll open settings. I'll go for general software update. You see it finds iOS 14.0.1. We informed that the update includes bug fixes uh, for your iPhone. If I tap on learn more, get the change log, but we'll take a look at that one later. So let's go back and let's see how long it takes to update. I'll start the stopwatch, tap download and install, provided my passcode, and now I'm agreeing to the terms and conditions agree okay estimating time remaining just a couple of seconds left preparing update download just under one minute it's a small update 172.5 megabytes okay so preparing update takes more than expected eight minutes now into the update and Okay, it just completed. Okay, let's push install now. Now we are verifying update. Here we go. The screen turned black. And now we're waiting for the Apple logo. Okay, Apple logo in nine minutes after starting the update. And this is how to update to iOS 14.0.1 in just under 17 minutes. Swiping up. Software update complete. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 14.0.1. Continue. I don't want to share the iPhone analytics. Swipe up to get started. Okay, let me go quickly into settings. General, about, and let's check the build number of the of iOS 14.1. Build number is 18A393. Okay, so the five bugs fixed by this update are uh, the one that caused the default browser and mail app to reset after restarting your iPhone. Remember that iOS 14 has introduced a new feature that allows users to replace Safari with any other third-party uh, browser that supports this feature, as well as the mail app with uh, Gmail or Microsoft Outlook. The second one addresses an issue that could prevent camera previews from displaying on iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. So this fixes an issue that could prevent your iPhone from connecting to Wi-Fi networks. Fourth, resolves an issue that could prevent sending email with some mail provider. And fifth, addresses as an issue that could prevent images from appearing in the news widget. This is very important and it could fix all the gray screen, black screen problems with popular third-party widgets like Widget Smith and Color Widgets. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, visit iphonetricks.org daily for tips and tricks related to your favorite Apple products. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.